My name is Cami from Sheck Snyder Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to fold the 5x7 Lastaline collapsible background. I love using these backgrounds for my um, portrait work because they're very portable and they're very easy to use. But with that being said, I must confess that in the beginning, I struggled. Opening up the background is very easy. You just unfold it and it pops into place. But folding it back down, well, I found that to be very, very difficult. I watched many different videos over and over again. Some videos I even watched in slow motion and I just couldn't figure it out. So I know there are many different ways to go about doing something. So through trial and error, I found a way that's easy for me and hopefully it'll be easy for you too. So let's get started. This is our uh, last of my background. You can see it just easily pops open, right? But to fold it down, the first step is you're going to want to place the background vertically on the floor. And you're going to gently grab both sides of the background and slowly walk backwards. Okay. The background is at a uh, slant right now. The foot of the background is on the floor. The top part of the background is resting gently in my hands. The next step, you wanna find the closest right hand corner. So this is my right hand. This is the closest right corner. You're gonna to walk to the center of that corner. So this is the corner right here, the center is about right here. And you're gonna place the center of that corner against your stomach, like so. Then you're gonna bend at the waist. You're gonna take your right hand and you're going to elongate it along the edge of the background. You're gonna stretch it as far as it will comfortably go. You're gonna do the same thing with your left hand. You're gonna stretch it along that edge as far as it will comfortably go. You can see I have a triangular shape right now. Okay, right there. Okay. The next step is you're gonna stand up straight. While you're doing that, you're gonna bring your arms up. The right corner is still pressed against my stomach and my arms are bent at the elbow and my forearms are parallel. I've got this wonky Pringle leg shape. The next step is you're gonna to wanna to take your right hand and fold it towards your left shoulder. This is creating an inner loop. Then you're gonna take your left hand and fold it towards your right shoulder. This is creating the outer loop. You're gonna grab hold of the two loops at the top, okay? At this step, you will feel some tension and that is okay. There is a third loop that's on the floor. So you're just gonna take the two loops and have them join that third loop on the floor. And there you go. So we'll do it again. Background is placed vertically on the floor. I'm slowly walking backwards. The background is at a slant. I'm gently holding the top part of the background in my hands. I'm walking over to the right corner and placing the center of that right corner against my belly. I'm bending at the waist. I'm left hand and stretching it out as far as it will comfortably go along the edge. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my left hand. Then I'm going to stand up straight while I'm pulling my arms in an upward motion. And I've got that funky, wonky Pringle leg shape. Then I'm gonna take my right hand 
and bring it to my left hand shoulder to form that inner loop. Then I'm gonna take my left hand and bring it to my right shoulder to make that outer loop. Then I'm gonna hold both loops at the top and gently bring them down to meet that third loop on the floor. And there you go. So if you are having a difficult time, like I was, uh, folding these large backgrounds, hopefully this video helped you out a lot. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button below and also subscribe to my channel because I will be posting many different instructional videos for photographers as well. So thank you very much. Hope this helped. Have a wonderful day. Bye.